Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Windows XP from a USB flash drive. For this, we're going to need three things. One is a Windows XP CD, a USB flash drive 1 gig or higher, and the Win2 Flash app. The link is in the description box below. When you get there, the one I downloaded was the uh, the one with a better installer, this one here. This is a very simple app. It doesn't install on your computer, it just runs. Once you download and extract, just double click to run. Now, the reason why I haven't made a video like this before for Windows XP is because it doesn't run, it doesn't work on a lot of modern computers. I had to get a client computer, older computer, and run it there. Now when you run it, click on the big check mark here. Then place a check mark. Always start in wizard mode if you want. And then click on next. Now here, uh, Windows File Path is the location of the Windows XP CD. In this case, the D drive. But if you don't know, you can always click the select button. And then browse for the uh, drive location where you have the CD. Here it is, drive D, so it's perfect. And this is my USB drive, which is E. It's also pre-selected, so I'm good. Perfect. Now, this program is also compatible with Windows 8, so I can't wait to test it. Once you have the uh, drive letter selected, click on Next. Agree to the license terms and agreement. Click Continue and here it's telling you that it's gonna format the USB drive all data will be lost so make sure you you don't have important files there and click on continue perfect it has completed 100 percent click next here and then exit out of here now let's put this to the test like I usually do I got my USB pen drive here my older laptop I'm going to turn it on and stay here to press F2 when it asks me to, to enter the BIOS. Here it is, press F2. Perfect, I'm in the BIOS. Now here I'm going to select the boot tab. Here it is. My USB flash drive is already my first boot device, but in case you don't know how to set the first boot device, you can always follow the instructions on the right pane here. So select the USB storage device to be the first boot device, press F10, enter to confirm and it will restart from the uh, USB pen drive. Here from this menu select the first one here and then press enter. Perfect. Now notice how fast it, it runs I mean, compared to the CD, DVD, this is much faster. Look at this. So the installation process with a USB is going to be way much faster than a CD, as you can see. Perfect. Since I don't like to leave a Windows installation halfway, just press F8. I'm going to continue on using a virtual machine. This is a new hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to partition the hard drive. So I'm going to press C and here I'm going to select 20 gigs out of the 60 gigs. Now if you don't want to partition, you don't need to partition, just press enter and it will install on the entire drive. Perfect. Now press enter here to use the 20 gigs in this case. Remember if you don't want to use, uh, if you don't want to partition, just press enter and here I'm going to select NTFS file system quick. Now if you want more details on partitioning I have a video tutorial link in the description box that will give you more uh, detailed information as far as partitioning the hard drive.
perfect from here on it's basically self-explanatory click next here type your name when you're done click on next now if you don't like the computer name just modify the computer name I'm gonna leave it my own name click next and select date time in your time zone and click on next perfect typical settings click on next and here I'm gonna leave it default on a work group and click on next I'm going to fast forward this process a little bit when it's done I'm gonna show you how long it took me to install Windows XP in this case on a virtual machine click OK here OK again you can click cancel if you wanted to perfect click next not right now I don't want uh, anything to be protected now skip this process do not register Microsoft at this time next and then type your name and then click on next and then finish perfect Windows XP is fully installed and it took about 12 minutes this is one of the things I love about Windows XP and the amount of memory it actually used compared to other operating system look at this this is perfect no comparison Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.